let's go over design for maintainability. So simple example is, you know, if you drive a car, you can do an oil check from time to time. And it's really not that complicated to see if there's, you know, insufficient oil or if it's between the two bars, basically, right? Uh, right? So that that's really a, um, a simple, simple, uh, simply all the self-diagnostic also of the car, right? You have some, uh, some, some, some lights that will pop up and alert you. Uh, there's a lot of ways that this can be done, uh, but also maintainability is also about making it easy to, to replace. So what you mentioned about the modules, of course, if you have, you were talking about a phone or, or a tablet or something, well, the, the people, if the people already have that module in stock, it's not that complicated to remove the old one, to put a new one, boom, quick test, does it work and, and, and go ahead, right? It, that that's in a nutshell that's the idea isn't it it is i maintain the ability of course is part of reliability as well you know because uh you know you've got heavy equipment or heavy electronics that you you know you, you need to make sure that they are going to maintain the functionality and the same quality and reliability in terms of function uh and, and maintain it for the years to come and uh i think you're right. Um, automobile is a perfect example of how uh, they have put in uh, signals, for example, uh, how frequently you need to change the oil and and um, you, you need to change the belts, for example, and so forth. Uh, I think um, the same way that you can do that, you can do some of that or similar things in, for example, I think, I'm not sure which one, I think it's Apple iPhone that checks the health of the battery. And it actually right. allows you to know that the battery is time to change and replace. If you don't, then you, you could have not only a dangerous environment situation where the battery can explode, but also more frequently, you're not gonna have much battery to work with. You know, you, yeah. it's gonna tell you, you only have 50% battery, but in reality you have like 10 minutes of battery as opposed to 50%. So, so I think that little by little, some of those things are being um, implemented in the electronics. For example, now we have electronic diagnostic systems so that it does a diagnostic test. And these diagnostic tests will actually tell you uh, basically about the health of the every component, uh, every module. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it will tell you if your uh, display is working okay, if your uh, keyboard is working okay, for example, um, you know, battery working okay mm -hmm. and so on. And I think that eventually um, maintainability uh, is gonna be part of the whole reliability and I think it already is, but I think that uh, it's going to be more and more uh, where the softwares are improving and there'll be more of a diagnostic type of system built in already. Yeah, definitely. Since it also helps definitely with quality because it makes it easier to test automatically the product. Uh, so during, let's say, during manufacturing and manufacturing and also in the field, we send an alert when something is not working. It's really uh, two birds with one stone here. Uh, yeah. And maintainability is going to be more and more important for electrical products in general because there are different regulations coming up uh, going to force the, the, you know, companies to design products that can be repaired is the right for repairability, right?